everyone! So today I'm going to do for you the makeup look that Ava Longoria wore at the Screen Actors Guild Awards. I thought she just looked absolutely stunning. It was just a gorgeous um, bronzy kind of face with a nude lip and she just looked gorgeous. So that's the look I'm going to do. Uh, before I get started, apologies, I am coming down with some sort of cold flu thing and um, that probably doesn't help with A, how I look and B, how I sound, so um, please bear with me. For the actual base itself, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. Now, Ava's got a really wonderful skin tone, which obviously I don't have, um, but I'm going to use this one particularly because it's a really sort of brightening um, and it gives a really lovely glow to the skin and that's what Ava had. So I'm going to take a couple of pumps of that on the back of my hand and then take a Real Techniques buffing brush and then just sort of work that in to the skin. And then because I am going a couple of shades darker, I'm going to sort of take it down the neck and right up into the hairline as well. Now the next step would be to sort of start on the contouring and the highlighting that Ava has on her face. And looking at the picture up close, she had has sort of a, you know darker sort of areas as you would do normally across the sort of cheekbones and the temples and round under the jaw, and then she has a sort of lighter brightness quite low actually, sort of under the eyes and down the nose and in the centre of the chin and then up into the centre of the forehead. So to sort of recreate that sort of shading I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown palette and this is the BBU palette and this is great um, because it just has so many different shades that you really can sort of work with it to um, you know get the colours that you need. So I'm just actually going to take a, this is just a Real Techniques concealer brush because I'm just going to go quite light with this. So taking one of the um, sort of light shades of the foundation and working it where I want that sort of extra brightness on my skin and then I blend it afterwards. And then before I start blending, I'm then going to take the darker shade um, and just sort of work the, the darker for the contouring sort of shades we've got. Um, so I'm just going to take this across the cheekbones here. So I'm actually going to go back to my Real Techniques buffing brush, but rather than buffing, um, I'm actually going to take more of a sort of patting motion and just start patting and pressing that into the skin so we don't kind of spread it away from the areas where we've applied it, but at the same time we're blending all the edges so it looks natural. So just pat away. Next up I'm going to do some sort of additional concealing work. Um, anywhere that you've got any blemishes and sort of under the eye area to really lift that out and uh, reduce any shadows. So taking our corrector concealer and just working that under the eye in that shadow area and into the corner where we all sort of have darkness. And going back to that same brush and again patting working that in, blending it all in together and get it right into the sort of lash line so it looks natural. There. And then I'm just going to sort of have a look and see if there's any other areas where perhaps I might need a little bit of extra work and also layer over the top um, the actual concealer shade rather than the corrector and just apply that over the top to even out the colour of the corrector. You don't need to go too heavy handed. And then anywhere where you have any blemishes really or any marks. Back in with our brush. I'm 
you're actually going to go in with a finger around the eye just to warm that up and blend that in. Blend that in the corner. I'm just taking a little bit of the product actually on the lid to give a nice sort of base of my uh, eye colour that is going to come later. And just neutralise any redness on the lid. We are going to move on now to brows and Ava had a gorgeous defined brow. It's very natural looking still but quite well defined. So starting at the bottom, just sort of work your shape, get that line looking sort of neat and then that helps kind of guide you from there. You don't want anything too heavy at the beginning, just a little stroke. Okay, so next up we're going to work on the eyes and to start things off I'm taking the 17 Easy on the Eye palette and this is a um, birthday suit. And it's a really nice mixture of matte and pearl shades and it also has a primer. And to start things off I'm actually going to take, it's this one in the corner here, brush that doesn't look bad, and it's this sort of cream metallic and that's going to give really nice base to the eye because she had a really glowy eye. So I'm actually going to use that on my finger, pat a bit, and then just work that all over the eye, taking it right up because she did have a really sort of shimmery top. In fact, the whole eye was very shimmery, and I thought this gives a really pretty base for everything. we've got that laid on and then next up actually going back to that same palette I'm switching to a Real Techniques base shadow brush and I'm going to be going in with this colour here it's this sort of pinky shade and I'm going to take that on the brush tap up any excess on the back of your hand and just sweep that across the lid right into the lash line and taking it up a little bit because the makeup was right up sort of onto the brow bone almost and outwards so especially because it's a nice light shade you can just sort of really wash that on and then next up I'm just sort of referring back to my picture here of Ava and she has I'd say in the outer corners it's slightly darker so I'm actually going to take this kind of Just blend that again onto the lids, but on sort of the outer corner more so. And strangely, the colour looks quite grey in the palette, but it's quite a warm colour when you actually use it. For the sort of definition, I'm going in with this, the darkest shade really that she has here. And I'm going to switch to a um, smaller brush. And I'm really going to work that sort of into the crease, and she has it sort of under the eye and right in at the corner. So I'm actually taking a Real Techniques shading brush. Now take a bit of that on your brush and work that in on the back of your hand just to take up any excess. With, I'm just going to sort of map out the area, so just sort of buff that a little bit into the crease there and into that corner. And then I'm switching to a clean brush, and this is a Real Techniques contour. No, it's not. It's a Real Techniques angled shadow brush. And so take what you've got there, don't add in more product, and just wash that in. And then you want to take a smaller sort of brush, so whether it's like an eyeliner brush or um, sort of a precision brush, and she has the colour under her eye, and it looks like she does have some black liner as well, so I'm going to use that too. Um, but to begin with, let's just take a little bit of that. I'm taking the pointed liner brush from Techniques. 
again using the back of my hand so we don't get sort of fall out. Let's work the product into the brush and then sort of join up. Copy my hair out of the way. Join up at the corner and sort of take it. Slightly thicker on the outer corner and, and sort of thinner on the inner corner of your application. I'm actually going to use this and add a little bit more onto the top just to define this lash line and the corner here so this sort of dark colour blends in well and to deepen everything up on this corner. Again, you can always just go back and blend so everything looks smooth. And then to add a sort of extra pop on that inner corner because it was a real sparkly, um, the All About Eyes palette doesn't really have anything that I think is bright enough. Um, so you want to find a sort of real pearly cream sort of shade that you've got. And I found a good one in this Dior. Well, this is a Celebration palette. And it's actually this colour here. Um, but really anything that you've got that's a real sort of bright pearly colour. And then taking a small brush and a little bit more just onto that inner corner. Just on the tear duct area. Blending it upwards a little bit so it all blends inwards and outwards, sorry. <laughs> so it all joins together. I'm actually going to take a very small amount and just pop that right, fringe getting away today, right on that very top of the brow bone there. Just to add another little bit of highlight because it was a really glowy look. She sort of really sparkled, I thought, on the red. And then, in terms of eyeliner, it does look like she has a little bit um, on the upper eyelid and a little bit also on the lower eyelid. She is wearing lashes, so it does sort of blend in a little bit. But I'm going to take, uh, this is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. I'm going to add a little bit of that now, and she also actually had it in the waterline, so you want to do that as well. smudgy brush like this. You can take a q-tip or a little brush, really anything that you've got, and just gently smudge that a little bit to work it into the lashes and again with the underneath. And it does come quite far across. And take it right into the corner so there's no gaps. And then I'm taking the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast High Definition Mascara. And let's just work that onto the lashes. You don't have to worry too much because we are wearing um, falsies. But just work that in, particularly at the roots, so it gives us a nice dense sort of black line right at the roots. So give it a good wiggle there. Just work the product in. 
and that will help blend our lashes as well. Okay, so that's mascara done and now I'm just going to go back in with my concealer and just touch up in the areas under the eye where I've had to fall out and make sure that's nice and bright and then I'm just going to set everything with some powder before we go in and apply some bronzer and some additional highlighter. So I'm going back to that same Bobbi Brown BBU palette or your concealer that you were using and just take a little bit of that, I'm having to warm my mouth actually because it's quite cold, and just pop that a little bit under there. blend that out just so it neatens up anything. I am mighty smudged. Be careful not to go too high because you don't want to sort of um, take away the shadow that you've created with your powder there. So it's just to really um, correct any darkness under the eye here. Okay so that's now everything set. I'm going to move on and do a little bit of additional blush and contour and highlighting just to get the skin really glowing how I ever had it on the night. So to start off with, I'm using the Sleek Face Form Palette, and this is in Fair. And I'm taking a Sleek Blush Brush, and I'm going to start with the Bronze Shade, and just working that on the brush. I'm just really going to go over the areas where we added darkness with the darker colour, so sort of up here in the temples, down across the cheeks. Working that in, you know, if you still suck in where you have that natural hollow. And taking a smaller brush, just working a little bit down the side of the nose, just to contour gently a little bit more. But keeping it soft and natural. Just really building that out because it was quite strong on particularly on the cheeks. Now my lashes I reckon are almost at the point where I'm ready to use them. So before I kind of continue I'm gonna pop those on before they dry too much. And there we have it, lashes on. And then just make sure you're happy with those. Whilst that dries, we're going to go back to our blush and our contour. So I'm going to the um, blush shade in the Face Form palette, and I'm going to take a little bit of that on the Duo Fiber brush, and I'm just going to work that onto the cheeks. So starting sort of out here, almost sort of in line with the top of your ear, and bringing it down, and buffing that in because it was a, quite a strong colour she had here. going to layer that with a little bit of Benefit Coralista because I think that's just a really gorgeous peachy shade like what I is wearing in this look. So just again sweeping that right across the cheeks there. And then I'm going to add a little bit more uh, highlight because she was particularly really sort of glowing right on this cheekbone. And for that I'm going to take the collection Speedy Highlighter, which looks like this. And I'm going to apply a little bit of that right onto the cheekbones here. Just to give us a real pop, looking real 
across, maybe just a touch more here on the brow bone. right up across on that cheekbone and just get it on and then work it in with your fingers just patting it so it blends it without moving it around for a really gorgeous glow so now we've got that gorgeous glow we're on to the final stage which is the lips now for this look it had a really natural soft glossy sort of lip but it wasn't too beige that it washed her out so to start off and create a nice shape I'm going to take the collection lip liner excuse me in pink heaven number 12 I'm just going to use this to give us a nice outline to the lips And then layering over the top of that, I'm taking, this is the Bobbi Brown um, lip colour. And this is sheer lip colour in Peach Sorbet 20. It's a really gorgeous, pinky peachy nude, which I think looks amazing on everybody. So I'm just going to apply that now. So final stages, it was quite glossy so I'm going to add just a touch of gloss and for this I'm using the L'Oreal Glam Shine and this is in 407 Magnetic Nude Glow. So take a little bit of that and just popping it across the lid and just using your finger. I think that's pretty much it for this look. Let's just double check everything. Lashes are on. Oh, one last final stage actually. That's just reminded me of looking at my lashes. I always think it's great to go back in with the eyeliner and just blend over the top so we don't have any seams and sort of tight line your eyes. So I'm going back with my Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner. I'm just going to sort of touch up over that lash band. And sort of tight line under here. Okay guys, that's the look all finished. I hope you love it as much as I do. Let me know what you think in the comments below as always. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to see lots more videos coming soon. Thanks guys, see you soon. Bye.